Hey everyone, my name is David and this is what's new in Filmora version 12.1.3 and this is an update. Uh, so we've got a couple of things. As for the timeline, you can use the Alt plus click, Shift plus click and Control plus click uh, keyboard combinations to perform copy, align and insert clips on the timeline more conveniently. You can also copy and paste transitions directly on the timeline. That's really awesome. Uh, and then the scrolling direction of the timeline are now switchable in keyboard shortcuts setting window. So that's also probably highly welcome if you use uh, that kind of movement. And then the select audio stretch and quick split tools are put together on the timeline toolbar. So uh, you'll, uh, you'll now need to use the select tool uh, where you actually now will be able to see the audio stretch and the quick split tools uh, that have been put together on the timeline kind of like uh, to make things a little bit more organized and then we've got uh, an update to the titles the text you put after editing the titles are now shown on the title clip in the timeline directly so that's okay uh, optimize the default border and shadow preset for creating SRT subtitles so that's really awesome as well uh, I wish there was a way uh, to kind of add a background to the subtitles uh, that would be highly welcome and then we've got a property panel update uh, more accurate controls for pop-up buttons and input fields and then the added keyframe shortcuts uh, support adding transparency keyframes and then you can now use control and mouse wheel combination to zoom in and out uh, of the preview player directly uh, that is control and mouse so kind of uh, roll uh, the wheel of the mouse and then some miscellaneous kind of updates uh, they've added a checkbox in export setting window to remember the export profile you used last time and this is highly welcome and as much as it is the miscellaneous I feel this is a very good update so that you don't keep uh, like making up settings when exporting and then uh, you're able to, to set default project settings for uh, starting projects quicker in the timeline and then we've got uh, the quick through guide is updated to fit feel more version 12 layout better and then the recommendations in audio library can be filtered as music and sound effect. That's highly welcome. And then we've got the optimized workflow for sharing files to Filmora Workspace collaboration platform. That's also highly welcome. So that's what's new in Filmora version 12.1.3. Uh, and if I click on install, it's going to download. And since uh, I had it uh, downloading in the background, it's just actually going to just install. So we can just see uh, maybe what's uh, kind of been updated in this particular version. Click on yes because it's installing. And then once it's done, uh, we're going to just look at probably uh, maybe where the select tool, the audio stretch tool and the quick split tool have been uh, set up. Maybe look at the transitions, uh, the copy paste uh, option that is available. And then finally, uh, we can uh, look at the export options uh, because uh, that is going to be very important especially if you create videos that use the same editing settings and same export settings then having to always just have that button on so that you just quickly go through everything that you're working on so i feel that that is going to be highly welcome and because uh, the upgrade is almost done let's just give it a couple of seconds uh, and see what we have in this version so i just read it out but let's try and see what is available in this new version so here we go it's almost done and once it's done it's going to test the environment to see uh, if everything is as we want it to be uh huh so here we go it's upgrading to wondershare filmora 12.1.3 wondershare filmora environment testing and then in a few we are going to get uh yes everything works and then we can just open or create a new project so we've got that uh, and we can change our layout whatever you want it to be cable shortcuts whatnot you see uh, the layout here let's say we go to the classic still like the classic and then go to stock media we can just add this uh, let's say we keep this let's say we add this one as well so uh, which one describes you better uh, let's see let's just close this first so uh, we've mentioned that uh, you can now copy transitions let's say we add that here 
and then let's go back to stock media and add maybe something here add maybe something here you can now right click on the transition copy come somewhere here select this control v and it's going to be pasted across this section and this section so that's the first update next tab uh from the select tool now you see that it has an, a small arrow so uh it allows you to switch the mouse status quick split mode uh, and then audio stretch if you click on this the quick split mode the, uh, the shortcut is c and the audio stretch the shortcut is s so that's highly welcome as well and then another notable one is the export option click on export and then you can uh, say for example uh, let's say we go with output settings i want to go with uh, video mp4 and then you can say match project settings atc but let's assume you change everything that you want here let's say maybe you go with a constant bitrate and then let's say apply uh, if you look at everything looks good then say export uh, let's give it a couple of seconds it's just a small clip uh, right here so let's wait once it's done we're also going to see what the export settings have uh, in store for us uh, because for some strange reason the export setting was grayed out so let's close that and then let's go to export and now the export setting is available when this setting is checked each export will use the previous export settings by default so you can check that and it's going to use the export settings you created here so that is highly highly welcome and uh, those are kind of some few notable uh, changes to that so that's what's new or what's latest in the latest update of filmora filmora version 12.1.3 that's it for me until next time stay safe and never stop learning